Today I'm going to be cycling along the seawall. I have previously done this before and I love it. Today's weather is not that nice. It's high of 16, which seems warm, but it actually isn't. So I'm kind of worried that it'll be cold. As you cycle, it gets kind of cold with the wind and everything. So we'll see how it all plays out. I'm probably just gonna wear like a hoodie or something on top to keep myself warm. And let's go. Uh -uh. <laughs> get my pants stuck here because I'm wearing something really loose. They said to tie it. So, how should I tie it like this? No, uh, lower. <laughs> yeah. Maybe like that? Okay, and then I have the other one but it barely fits my wrist so... Oh my god, it's gonna snap. Ah, ah. She's testing out the bike. It didn't gear properly, so she's testing it out. I'm slightly scared of riding the bike again. She went back to return the bike and get me a new one. So I'm just waiting here. We're just at the very beginning of the trail. There's her bike. I guess I would recommend you to try the bike a little bit before you fully make your start because you never know if something's wrong with it. There's a savior. Her first time biking. No, it's my second time. Your third. She just learned how to change the gears on her bike. Okay. I feel like a little kid. <laughs> this is the Stanley Park like seawall loop that you can do downtown Vancouver. And you can rent bikes just right along Stanley Park. There's a bunch of bicycle rental stores that you can check out on Denman Street which is just right over there and I think you can rent electric scooters you can rent electric bikes or just regular bikes they also have tandem bikes and our bikes today were seven dollars an hour per bike and then what happens is you just leave some credit card information and you show them a piece of ID and when you come back that's when they calculate the number of hours slash how much your rental will be and I think on average it takes about 1.5 hours to complete the loop no helmet. a map of Stanley Park we started around here and now we're gonna be doing the whole loop Let's see how many kilometers it is. Oh, it looks like it's about nine kilometers. At a viewpoint, not the best because it's a little gloomy out. <laughs> Try this one. Doesn't fit. Isn't it kind of too big now? Yeah. Can, I? Can you do it for me? Do it. I don't want to wear it, but I feel like I should. Setting that exactly. biking trail which is separated from this walking trail as you can see by the red line and when you keep going a few beaches appear now we're at the beach three kilometers left what can't wait to eat we're starving we didn't think it was gonna tire us out but it's actually pretty tiring i'm not tired okay well i'm only tired my arms are kind of sore so i'm 
sweating a bit. Okay, let's go. Let's try lifting my hat. Try. Try. Whoa. So we're now nearing the end of the loop. As you can see over there, you can't zoom in. There's the Burrard Bridge. And on the left of that is English Bay Beach. How would you rate this trail? Nice. She says nice. She says it's a nine. Is there any lips? Like Out of what? Ten. Out of ten. Of nicer. She said if the weather is nicer, it would be ten out of ten. She's picky. This is a little concession stand. Okay, I just finished, and I think how long did we go for? An hour. Sixty-seven minutes. We went for 67 minutes and that was around $22 and then I tipped them a bit.